welcome back to my channel if you're a first time watcher glad to have you here if you haven't subscribed yet please do consider subscribing hitting that thumbs up and the little bell right next to the subscribe button that way when I uh, post new content you'll get it in your, e uh, in your email that is and you can watch it um, whenever and then for all my returning favorites welcome back so today I have a little um, not really a comparison video but I have spent time uh, with both of the new floral scents um, by Homeworks by Harry Slatkin, the fall chrysanthemums, which I have right here, as well as, and that's for the fall, obviously fall chrysanthemums, duh. And then I have, for Christmas, Christmas lilies. So these are both of the floral scents for all you floral lovers out there, um, like myself, like I said, I love gardening. Uh, I worked out in the yard today uh, with the grass. It's, Finally, starting to get some cooler temperatures, so I'm uh, reseeding, aerating, dethatching, all that uh, fun stuff, and I just love it. So, naturally, floral scents appeal to me. So, am I a little biased on floral scents? Probably just a little, um, but I, I can tell you these are obviously my honest evaluations and reviews of, of these two scents. Um, and uh, you might not like one or the other that's fine you know you don't you're not a floral lover you know uh there's other offerings if you like gourmand scents harry's got the maple strudel uh, it's got the apple butter it's got all those all those scents uh for there but there are only two floral scents there's some greenery scents there's some woodsy scents but as far as like you're talking straight up floral scents these are the two so uh, i have burned both of these i did give a um, a cold sniff review when I receive these, uh, both on Instagram as well as on my YouTube channel here. So now that I have spent time with the burn a little bit, we're going to talk a little bit more um, about these two. So let's start with the fall chrysanthemums because it is for fall. Here we have a gorgeous wraparound label. We have the mom's chrysanthemums in baskets. Um, you can see there's little shots of a little basket in there and you really don't get to see too much of the wax um, very reminiscent of the summer zinnias um, that Harry did in the in the springtime and here we have the four wicks it's like a yellow wax there so and these are burn time of 30 to 55 hours four wicks I'll read you the scent notes on this and then we'll get into the scent and the performance um, review of it so it has carnation, jasmine, white birch, and violet leaves. So this is, uh, and I said this before, this is like you're walking into your local garden center, uh, probably about a week or two, maybe three weeks when temperatures cool a little bit more, and you're gonna go get your corn stalks, you're gonna get your bale of hay, you're gonna get your your mums, your chrysanthemums, uh, get some pumpkins, you know, some gourds maybe come home, you decorate your front lawn, your front yard, your patio, your porch, whatever. That smell is what you get in this. So this has an earthy tone because, um, as I said before, the chrysanthemums, um, they're not a bright floral, so they're not like the Christmas lilies, so it's a more subdued, earthy, uh, dirt, almost like a dirt note, but not quite, but it's spot on for the season. Um, it, it captures that moment and you know we talk about Harry talks about how scent captures a moment and brings back memories so obviously this does bring back some very fond memories of myself growing up going to the local um, uh, nurseries garden centers around here where they have the corn maze set up or they have uh, a hay maze set up there and they Near us, we had Snipes, which was the land of scarecrows, so they had all the sca scarecrows set up there, so it, it just invokes that memory, and obviously I have a two-and-a-half-year-old, and I have a new one on the way, so all those memories I'm getting to relive, which is really cool, and so this, this scent just takes me there. Um, so, it, the leaves, right, so it has a greenery note to it, a peppery greenery note almost to it, not tomato vine, Don't, it's on that it's kind of almost there but it's not but it's a woodsy earthy green herbaceous kind of note on it um and that's coming from the violet leaves because if you ever had like an african violet um and you break the stem by accident that and it has that smell to it from, from the sap and from the inside of the stem that's what you're getting 
with this. So this is spot on. Now, I know some folks um, weren't too high on this scent, and that's fine. It's a, certainly uh, an interesting scent. It's not your typical peony, rose. It's not your typical floral scent. Um, and it's not for everybody. It certainly is not a scent for everybody. But if you're one who enjoys fall, uh, decorating for fall, getting your hands dirty out there, planting, um, mums. Fun fact, in, at least here in the Northeast, mums, chrysanth chrysanthemums, are perennial. So that means they will come back every year. I have one out there that just keeps coming back and coming back. Um, so if you plant, if you get your, your mums, your chrys chrysanthemums, and you plant them in your garden bed, uh, don't throw them out. Don't pull them out, just cut them back and they will um, potentially come back. They'll, they usually start showing again sometime in July. You'll start seeing the little green stalks and they come back larger every year. So if you buy like, you know, a medium sized one, it'll be a lot larger next year. So a little fun fact um, for uh, chrysanthemums. So now as far as the burn here, so I purposely did not uh, do anything with the wicks. I just wanted to show you. Um, this was after the burn, they mushroom top, mushroom, mushroom topped a little bit, and there is a little bit of the wick, not the wick, but a little, little black going on in there. Um, flames were good. They were, they were pretty high on this one there. Um, they were pretty steady. Um, no issue, no issue with the burn on this, uh, so far. We'll see when I get further down. Um, but yeah, I had no issues with this. I just wanted to show you what those wicks looked like. They were... These are a little thinner wick. I um, believe uh, Christmas Lilies has a little bit of a thicker wick, but I'll show you the, the wicks on that um, after a few burns there too. So um, if you like this, this is currently still available on QVC's website for about 40 bucks and five dollars, 550 shipping. So you have 50, yeah, um, 45 bucks out the door, and they are coming in a pair of two. So you get two of the same scent this year, uh, at least in these deluxe jars. So next one, wow, Christmas lilies. So let's let's talk about Christmas lilies here. Let's look at the label there. So we have our red lilies going around and 360 wrap around. And we have a gorgeous green wax that just complements the red. Um, and uh, for Christmas time, it's perfect. We have the four wicks inside there. So, ah, oh man, um, I meant to mention, so, fall chrysanthemums, if you live near me, you live in the Philadelphia area, you know there's Longwood Gardens. Longwood Gardens, huge conservatory, every year they do a chrysanthemum festival, and they have a thousand bloom mum, it's awesome. That is like, that scent is like walking into the conservatory of all the mums and everything. So if you're in, uh, within a two hour driving distance, I'd say, look into it, check it out. It's normally October into November. It's certainly done by um, Thanksgiving because they close down over Thanksgiving and they set up for Christmas in a matter of three days. So um, it's like from middle October to um, November there. So back to Christmas lilies. So we got the four wicks there, 30 to 55 hours, uh, burn time, uh, burn time 30 to 55 hours, and then we have in here we have Casablanca lilies, um, Lang Lang, uh, pink pepper, and vetiver, vetiver. So um, this is a very bright white floral. So when you think white florals, you think jasmine, you think lilies, obviously. Um, couple of other white florals there. So this is very bright. So as whereas uh, chrysanthemums was dull, sub subdued, wasn't a bright floral. This is certainly your bright floral and it is it, it is amazing. Um, like I said, I, I love gardening. So I actually have a couple lilies in my yard. Um, I actually have some lily trees, which not really trees, but they grow up to six feet tall um, and they have huge trumpet um, blooms and this is just just amazing so imagine like an Easter lily right it has that Easter lily scent to it but it has a green note so you're getting the green leaves going on in this and the pink um, the pink pepper is really um, it's a nut right because pink pepper is not really 
a peppercorn. It's it's a nut. Um, but yeah, I think it, it's it's complex, but it's not really. Um, it's just it's it's a lily scent. It's um, the vetiver has a grassy note, which could be the greenery coming in from it. <clears throat> the lang lang yeah. Lang Lang. Um, it's a weird, like, fruity floral itself there, but if you like a green note, like a greenhouse, this is like a greenhouse note, so uh, the way I described this before, and I still stand by that, is you're walking into your local garden center at Christmas time, and they have a greenhouse, and they have poinsettias, and they have Christmas cacti, Christmas cactus, and they have uh, amaryllis, and they have paper whites. Um, and they have a couple other specialized um, plants you can give as gifts for Christmas time. That's what this smells like, and that that whole aura, that whole aroma in that greenhouse um, has all of those features. It has the the greenery, the the bright florals. This is exactly what that smells like. Now, I think Harry said this is more like your dinner Christmas dinner floral, um, certainly. But I could burn this scent year round, to be honest with you. Um, I, I actually I bought both of these scents before um actually no bought Falco scents before I received it this one I received and I, I bought but um I did buy sets of both of these and I am excited to get more and more of these so the burn on this was a little different than Fall Chrysanthemums notice um I did not do any kind of wick trimming or uh Kleenex so these wicks do not have any kind of uh, mushroom tops on the top. Okay, <laughs> so these flames um, were shorter. They were certainly shorter. This is that did not have any issue pooling. Um, did not have any puny wicks, but they were shorter. So they were shorter, not as as tall as the fall chrysanthemums. However, um, they danced. So I had them burning side by side. Whereas the fall chrysanthemums were pretty straight up. These did flicker and dance a little bit. I did not have the fan turn on. I did not have the air conditioning turn on. It's in the basement. And um, they just danced a little bit. So keep that in mind. Not a deal breaker. Not huge. So no big deal there. No puny wick syndrome on this one. But as you can tell, it's a really clean burn. So very, very impressed um, with both of these. So once again, this is available also for $39.90 and change, $5.50 shipping, $45 bucks, two, get you two in and out of the door. Um, they are all shipping starting next week, I think, like September 22nd is, is the, the shipping date. So uh, they're coming up soon, so I want to get this out, this video out in time for that. So um, let me know what your thoughts are when you get these guys, because I think they're two of uh, the top floral scents Harry has done uh, in Homeworks since they came out last year. So, Alright guys, so that's all I have for you, so please hit that like and subscribe button, hit the little bell, get the notifications, and I will see you all soon. I do have a newborn on the way any day now, so there might be a little delay in video content, but have no fear. I will be back. So, um, that's all I have for you right now, so um, see y'all real soon, so have a good one.